Hi everyone, welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing a swipe painting and it's going to be a flower. Today is my birthday and I want to do some flowers. So that's what we're going to do. And anybody that's new here, please hit the subscribe button. It would be much appreciated. I have a birthday goal. I would really like to hit 140 subscribers. Not 140,000. I officially right now have, as this video is being done, 129 subscribers. So that's what, 11 subscribers tonight before midnight hits? Is it possible? Let's hope. So anybody, if you want to give a girl a birthday present, phone a friend. Tell them to click on Santa Sensations and subscribe for me. I would love that. And please, leave comments on this video. It means the world to me when I get to see and read comments, likes. Even if I get a thumbs down, I get excited. I know it's silly, right? But it's really important to me, so give a girl a hand. Alrighty, let's start this painting. I'm going to do a couple of different colors for the background. So I'm going to start with my aqua green. And I'm just going to go along the top here. And just do a couple of spots and just do some drippings all the way down. There we go. And my favorite deep turquoise, I'm almost out of. I'm going to have to go and get myself some. Just do a couple of drops of that. If I can get any out. <laughs> I don't want to totally run out of it. That's pretty good. And I think I'll put a little bit of sky blue in, which is this one. This is just going to be a fun painting. Okay, and I've got my ultramarine. Now I've just come in the door from work. And of course, the first thing I do is come in the art studio and start painting. I haven't even thought about what I want to do for dinner. Okay, we're going to do some purple as well. I hope everybody's staying safe out there and wearing your mask when you go out. I know at work, every time we go near somebody else's desk, we have to wear a mask. And it's, it's a, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating, but you got to do it. Keep everybody healthy. Okay, I'm going to swipe down these colors just with a piece of plastic. Perfect. And I'm not even going to wipe it. I'm going to add those colors to my next swipe. They're all pretty much the same anyways. And I'm going to go back over the area I just went because I want to add color at the top. And I'm not doing it straight. I'm just letting it kind of flow how whatever direction it wants to go. One more swipe. There we go. So that's what my background's going to be. Let's put that plastic aside for a minute. Grab a napkin so I don't make a mess as I get my torch. Oops. Give it a little torch. Get the bubbles out. See if there's any cell action happening. There we go. And we got some cell action happening. That's pretty cool. That's what we want. Okay, now for the fun stuff, to do the flowers. So I'm going to first start with some of my dark green. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I can get the lid off, that is. There we go. 
Now, I want to do just a couple of drops. Like that. And I'm going to do a couple more up here. And a couple here. Okay, we'll start with that. We'll see if I need to add more or not. I'm going to put some of my sap green as well. Staying roughly in the same area. Okay. Let's start with that. Now I'm going to take my paint knife. Just to, You can take anything to drag the color around. I just want it to be a little bit thicker than it would using my uh, stylus, which is something I use often. I don't know if you can see that or not. <clears throat> I'm going to do it with my paint knife. I'm just going to drag this down and drag this one down and this one. Now I see a couple areas I'm going to just do some wispy pullouts. Loads. Greenery, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm happy with that. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll be adding more. Okay, so now what do I want to do for flowers? Let's go with my magenta. It's going to be like a big puddle pour. And I'm going to do some of my pink blossom. Then I'm going to get my little compressor and blow this guy out. Perfect. Let that sit for a minute. Give it a little torch actually. I'm going to give some of this greenery a little bit of a torch too. There we go. Okay, now I have some right out of the bottle. It's pour, pre mixed pour paint. I haven't added anything to it. I'm going to try that one out. With, do we want green? No, oh, I'm going to go with light blue. Grab my torch again, my torch, sorry, my little air compressor, airbrush. I like it, that one's coming right off the canvas. 
There we go. Okay, now let's do, I think my berry wine and my wild berry. I think that's what I'm going to do. And this one's going to be coming in a down fashion, I think. <clears throat> Hopefully you can hear me. Sorry, I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. And this one's a wild berry. It's a little bit of a pinkish color. Peachy pink. Okay, so now I'm going to take my paint knife and I'm just going to do a little bit of maneuvering of these petals that we just did with the airbrush, highlighting a little bit of direction these petals are in. guy sorry I'm just bringing up some of the white as well that's under there just defining these petals a little bit hmm I really like that one. I might have to fix that. Let's see what we can do to fix this guy. about that one for a minute. This one I'm just pulling up some of the green. Okay, looking at that flower, I'm going to add some white in there and blow it out again, I think. There we go. I like that much better. So now I'm just going to define some petals.
There we go. That one's nice. That one needs a little bit more defining. Let's go with a little bit of white. I'm just going to put it on my table here. Are you still with me? I hope so. It's amazing what a little bit of white can do to add to your details of your petals because of course the petals fold in a little bit when you look at a flower and it's always a little bit lighter so these areas that I have these folding marks from just from blowing it out I'm just enhancing it there we go Okay, and I feel like I need more, 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 more. Okay, happy with that, happy with that. Let's give it a torch. <coughs> So now let's add a few little ones. I'm just going to take my paint knife and I'm going to draw just a couple of little shootouts that I'm going to make little bud colors. Okay, so let's do uh, a couple of different colors. Let's go with purple. Will those two look good? Hmm. I haven't done my berry yet. I did a little bit in there, but i got to do some berry. Do one there and one right here. And with the berry, I'll do a little bit of pink. Okay, let's give that a little bit of a blowout. Needs a little bit more berry in there. Now what's cool is I got these little purple flowers happening from the uh, cell action. I'm just going to draw a couple little shoots down. They look like little purple 
shoots of flower, which is a happy little accent in there. We got one here. There we go. We got something here. A little bit of blue. There we go. Okay. Happy with those two. Those are pretty good. I think. Oh, I almost put my paint bottle down in the white. I'm always trying to do quick videos, but sometimes you just want to take a little more time and it's my birthday and I want to paint, so I'm taking a little longer than normal. Hopefully you're still with me. Hopefully you're calling all your friends to say, look up Sandra Sensations, go on and subscribe for her, doesn't cost anything to do, it's her birthday. I definitely have no problem begging when I need to. <laughs> so today's a kind of a beg for your attention video. Okay. Now, I want to do another color, you guys. A color, ultramarine. right here and with that ultramarine we're gonna go with the light blue let's see if that's enough Enough. Might need a little bit more blue. Ultramarine, I should say. Okay, I think that's going to be my last flower. There we go. Stealing a little bit of green. Okay, so now going to take a couple of these areas that have lots of green and just wind them up a little bit into painting. about done. Okay. Good. Good. Let's give it a torch. And I might be able to lift it enough for you to see a close up. There we go. 
I will try lifting it for you. Turning it around. Just a quick little flower painting. There we go. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Alright. Thank you very much for joining me on my birthday to watch this video. And tell all your friends to look up Sandra Sensations and subscribe to her. I just saw a flake of dry paint right here. That's not okay with me. How am I going to fix that? I'm going to take a little piece of plastic and just lightly pull down here. Oop. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's add a little bit of green. Now you're going to see me fix a painting. Tiny little bit of green. And a little bit of sky blue. And that might be enough. Okay, I need to grab one of my small pieces of plastic here. I hope I can do this lightly. Let's do some white too. I can't believe I did that. I'm glad I caught it before the painting dried. Hmm. I'm not happy about that at all. Let's do some... Uh, oops. I'm going to do some of my sap green. I'm going to do some of my sap green and black mixture, which is a dark green. I'm going to take my paint knife and draw. A little bit of leaf action happening down below here because I got something stuck in my painting. <clears throat> okay, let's add a little bit of chartreuse. I don't have any of that in my painting yet, so it might help to accent. I'm going to take a chance and use my air compressor. Spread that paint around. Okay, now let's fix this. Can't believe I did that. Definitely looks like a leaf, which is cool. That's what I was going for. Give it a quick torch. Now, to add something on there. Take some of this dark green I have down here. And do a little shoot of something. I'm going to do some magenta. And some white. Well, so much for this being a quick video. Okay, I'm just going to use my straw. Need a little 
little bit more magenta in there. Okay, I think I fixed that area. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to turn it and show you quickly what I did to fix it. <clears throat> See if it's believable. There we go. Problem solved. Alright everybody, I really am done. I'm not going to pick out any more dry flakes or anything like that. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, even my blooper. Everything's good now. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy, everyone.